Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. The heat may be a factor in today's game with the UCLA Bruins and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Cornhuskers. The Bruins look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? UCLA has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Will he? In my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Nice pick, Kirk. I'm picking the Cornhuskers. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He sends it downfield. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, guys, how do you think this rushing attack is going to do against this defense today? I know that this offense has a wonderful running back, but not so fast, my friend. I think this defense is going to win the battle today, led by a superstar linebacker. Yeah, this linebacker should have a big impact on this game. If he plays well, then the defense will hold up. But if he plays bad, then we may be in for a long day. We've got second and nine here. Ball on their own 25. The Husker set up in the gun. He unloads it. Conley loses the handle. And the defense picks it up. And he's taken down at the 23. What do you think about the play of that safety, Herbie? This guy stepped up and made a big play right here for the defense. Nice fumble recovery. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. First and 10. UCLA sets up in the eye. Play fake. He rolls left. Rifles it left. His receiver has it. And a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it. First, First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. They come out with three wide receivers. He steps up, lets it go. Got it to his receiver. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Well, sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra zip on the throw, just like he did there. I'll tell you what, that ball looks like a missile with laces. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Nebraska comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Play action. He lets it go. That's a live ball. And the offense picks it up. He's gobbled up in the backfield. This defense almost came up with a play of the game. What a lucky fumble recovery by the offense. Hey, they're still alive, and all they need is a score here. Let's see if they can keep this drive going. They're still alive, all right, but it's not going to last much longer if they don't protect the football. He drops back, surveys the field, over the middle. Tackle made at the 28. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. This quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Frazier is back in the gun. He's looking to pass, and it's caught. They didn't get much on that pass. You know, this defense is too quick for plays like that to work. You got to mix them up a little. Second and seven. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Cornhuskers have three receivers bunched. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He rolls out to the right. It's intercepted. There's a missed tackle. Number 50 loses the handle. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. They'll set up shop at the 38-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. Green takes the give. Brought down at the 44. About six yards on the play. Second 
They line up at the 44. Second and four coming up here. They come out in a goal line set. Green on the give. Britton with the tackle at the 46-yard line. UCLA will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. From their own 46-yard line, third down and two. McNeil lines up in the deep back, high formation. They didn't have the ball along there. Having ball control is important in football, and three it out is what you want to avoid for sure. UCLA lining up the punt. Medlock is waiting for the snap. Punts the ball away. Number 23 takes it to 15. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? Well, the old kicker could stop warming up because it's forward down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did right. their job. Now it's the offense's turn to try to make this a ball game again. Frazier, back to throw. Steps up in the pocket. He rifles it. They can't connect. Incomplete. Drop pass. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an ear for it when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. From their own 18-yard line, second and 10, the Cornhuskers line up with a single setback. Throws. That would have been a tough catch to make with that coverage. Yeah, Kirk, but that's what he's on the field to do. I don't care if he's covered by seven guys. If the ball touches his hands, then he's got to bring it down. Man, that's pretty harsh, don't you think, Scooty? Nah, it's not harsh. That's what wide receivers are supposed to do. Catch the football. He zips it. Got him. Hey, football fans. Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. There's still a lot of warm air out there for tonight's battle between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Boston College Eagles. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Eagles. The Eagles really have their work cut out for them today here, Kirk. Boston College has spent all week trying to figure out how they're gonna slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's gonna have a big day and a big win. I'm just not going to agree, Kirk. I'll guarantee it. Boomer Sooner. Oklahoma has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. He kicks it off. Number 84 has it at the five. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Well, guys, most of the hype surrounding this game has revolved around this game-breaking tailback. Oh, boy, wait till you see this kid. This kid is a heck of a player, but he's going to go up against a great defense and an even better linebacking core. I think he'll run all over him, Kirk. Let's see how he does. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29. The Eagles line up with a single setback to him. Tosses it out. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. They'll give him an inch or two, if that. Third, Third down and 10 two. coming up. Ball, Ball on the 29-yard 29 29 line. line. Bush, the lone back. Cut. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Caught. Quinn with the tackle at the 44-yard line. Now that's what you have to do on third and long. Yep. He went right at him and hit him in the mouth. That's a great conversion to get the first down. From their own 44-yard line, first down. The Eagles come out in the ace formation. Push. 
He'll run it again. Man, I sure wouldn't want to be hit by that kid. That's not baby fat on him anymore. He weighs 300 pounds plus. I don't know if I'd be calling him a kid. Well, I'm not the one out there taking the hits either, my friend. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 42-yard line. Back to pass. Down the middle. And it's incomplete. Not much you could do there, coach. Nope. Not much at all. It's not easy hanging on to the football when there's another guy coming at you. Those are going to be drops more times than not. Third, and Third 12. down, 12 yards Ball to go. On Ball on the 42. Yeah. From the gun. Looking to throw. Looks. It's tip. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They got to the quarterback a little late there. First of all, nothing to pass him. 15 yard penalty. He did get to him late there. The officials have gotten really serious about hits like this. I think it's good for the game that they're doing such a good job of protecting the quarterbacks. Kirk, that was well put. Boston College goes with the ace set here. It's right. And he stopped behind the line. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, for a great effort up front by that defense. Second it's second and 11. And 11. Ball on the 44-yard line. Boston College lines up for the shotgun set, and he hits him hard at the 45. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The Eagle set up in the gun. He drops back. There's a missed tackle. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. They're going to throw. It is he throws, and they couldn't hook up on that one. They took a gamble, but they lost. Well, that gamble could really end up hurting him because if the opposing offense scores, then everybody is going to be pointing fingers at that old coach. They'll, They'll start at the 36. First and 10. They'll work from the shotgun. On the ground, up the middle. He grab him up. And they make the stop at the 46. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 46. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Warren tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. It's second down. White is back in the gun. Gives it to the back. Donovan brings him down at the 48-yard line. They got four yards on that one. From their own 48-yard line, we've got third and eight. They'll work from the shotgun. White back to throw. Chucks it deep down the right side. It's deflected. This one is incomplete. Wright was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up. We've got a first and ten. Number 22 with four wide receivers. He throws it. Complete. What a catch. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they pull it up. First and ten. Ball on the 48. Number 22 comes to the line with three wide. Handoff up the middle. He juice him. Now down. Tackles him at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. The Eagle line up with three wide. He's going right. He got a hand on it, but it's incomplete. Martin was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. Right. 
Third, Third down. Ball on the 49 yard line. Boston College comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He drops back. He's in trouble. Merrill comes up with a sack. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Boston College comes out of the shotgun. Here we go. Caught. What a catch. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. And now they're winning this ball game. It's now a three-point game, Kirk. And I'm assuming he has the extra point here. That lead could come four. Which means a field goal won't cut it. They have to get the ball into the end zone. And this possession is probably going to be their last chance. And they line up for the point after. And he adds the extra point. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Boston College, 20, Oklahoma, 16. Walter gets set to kick this one away. And it's off. Right fields it at the 19. Guys, what do you think about this situation? This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. The Sooners are lining up with three receivers. Catches it. Warren with a takedown at the 39-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. And if you're a young, aspiring coach out there, I hope you're watching. That's exactly how to blow up a screen pass and shut down an athlete with breakaway speed. Third and nine. Ball on the 39. The Sooners go with the eye formation. Back to pass. Across the middle. And it's incomplete. And that'll make it fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Murray is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He passes it. The ball is tipped. And that one's incomplete. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. First down. The Eagle come out in the shotgun. Taylor gets the carry. Thomas brings him down at the 37. Taylor comes away with two yards on the carry. It's second and eight. Ball on the 37-yard line. Boston College will line up in a jumbo set here. On the ground with the tailback. Taylor picks up five with the carry. That'll make it third down. It's third and three. They come out in a goal line set. Inside give, Doolin with the tackle at the 29-yard line. Boston College will take their second time out of the half. Right. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're packed in tight on the line. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Boston College will use their final timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Yeah. 
The kick is up. No good. He hooked it left. Well, fellas, he can't come through with three points. Like corners who get beat on deep routes and quarterbacks who throw a pick, kickers also have to have a short memory. Yeah, I think this guy will be ready to go on his next kick. The Sooners line up in an eye formation. White drops back. And he's sacked. The Sooners call for a timeout. And that was their first timeout. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 22. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. It's been a downpour with no signs of letting up for tonight's contest between the UCLA Bruins and the Boston College Eagles. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Eagles. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. UCLA is looking to air it out in this one, and their favorite target is none other than this wide receiver. And in a game like this, you've got to look for an edge, and he gives them that edge that they're looking for. Ha, I got to disagree with you here. Even from a close one. UCLA is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Decent kick. Number 84 fields it at the three. Number 84 probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. They'll start this drive at the 29. Boston College comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Taylor sweeps right. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. From their own 27-yard line. So it's second and 12. Number 22 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. They brought him down for the sack at the 19-yard line. Passing situation here on third and long. Boston College goes with the ace set here. He drops back. He lets it go. Down it ball. Good defensive play. Makes it fourth down. I'm sending out a big yo to the defensive coordinator right there. I'm sure he appreciates that, yo. Great job of mixing up the coverage and putting his players in a spot to make a play. And they're smart enough to know the situation and to just knock it down. Charles is waiting for the snap. Punts the ball away. Hoffman takes it at the 45. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. He looks to throw on first down. But, and they got him for a loss. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. First of all, dropping the pass. 
Big penalty there, guys. 15 yards. Uh, he's got to know that the refs won't allow him to take the quarterback down so late. They line up at the 34. It's first down. UCLA comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They hand it off. McCarty tackles him for a loss on the play. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll line up at the 35. It's second down. Look at the throw. Let's it fly. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 33. And he got stopped before he even got started on that thing. That defense had to rise on that kid the entire time. Whoa. Third down. The Bruin go with the eye formation. Steps up. Look. The Cavalry's coming. That was just good pass rush by the defensive end. But the offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Bruin come out in the ace formation. They need this pass. They brought him down for the sack at the 45. Well, they went for it there, and they didn't. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. One man backfield. McNeil takes a handoff. He's taken down at the nine-yard line. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. UCLA comes out with an eye formation. No gain. That brings up second and goal. They line up at the nine. The Bruin go with the eye formation. Frank, the ball carrier. That'll be a pickup of a yard. UCLA just took their first time out. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. The Bruins line up in a goal line formation. Go into the end zone, and it pays off. Touchdown. What a huge touchdown. I can't believe that they're able to grab the lead with almost no time left on the clock. That was a perfect lesson in clock management. They got into the end zone, and barring a small miracle, they will win this game. They line up for the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, UCLA, 14, Boston College, 7. UCLA, ready to kick this one off. Hawthorne, and number 84, back deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 84, fields at the goal line. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. They'll start at the 23-yard line. Number 22, back in the gun. He's looking to pass. Finds his receiver. The screenplay worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Taylor alone in the backfield. He drops back. He gets rid of it, and it falls incomplete. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hand. It's second and 10. Boston College comes out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Someone got a hand on it. Dangerous, dangerous throw there. Give credit to the defense. They did a good job out there. 
This quarterback thought his man would be open, and boy, he was third wrong. From their own 35-yard line, it's third and 10. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one. So they're going to go for it here. UCLA will have one timeout remaining. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Boston College comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looking, heaves a long one down the middle. Got it. 